Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what is MDM and what is the relationship of the Active OS and how we can use Active OS in MDM. So let's start today's session. MDM Hub and the Informatica Data Director integrate with the Active OS server to support a change approval workflow. So nowadays, if, if it is a small company or small business, uh, they have the uh, inbuilt or the, the regular change approval process, something like this. The, the supervisor will create some activities and manager will approve that activity. So this is nothing but the change approval process. But for the data governance perspective in MDM, we also implement the change approval pro workflow or change approval process and that is achieved through the active VOS. If you go to the MDM, it, it is defined under MDM workflows. There you can see the task types and the roles. So these are the predefined activities, MDM workflows, task types and the roles. How change approval workflow works? As I said, the change approval process is carried out or configured in two components, one in the MDM hub and second in the IDM, in the IDD. In MDM hub, it actually manages a state on the records in the base object table that have the state management enabled. Unapproved records have the pending state, while the approved records have the active state. So by that mean, uh, we know that there is one column at the base object level, also at the except level, and the name of column is hub state indicator. So to achieve the change approval workflow in the MDM hub, the hub state indicator column will be used. So it has the values such as one for active, minus one for inactive, and zero for pending. However, in IDD, authorized business users change entity data and can send update to the approval. So normally data steward who are the, or the business user, they uses the IDD application. So they, one of the user can create data or update data in the IDD and it's sent for the approval for the manager. Once the record get approved, it is marked as an active in the MDM hub. The active viewer server runs activities within the MDM workflows and create task for the business managers and data steward. Here is a business case. Business process requires that a senior manager review and approve updates to the customer data before it becomes master data. So at the right hand side, we have, we have shown one figure where IDD data steward update the record. In MDM, the record will be in the pending state. Then active starts one step approval workflow once it is started, it will create a task and the task will be assigned to the senior manager for the approval. Once the senior manager approves, the record will be marked as active in the MDM hub. So that is the detail we have mentioned in the left hand side, one step approval workflow. In IDD, data steward updates a customer entity and sends update for approval. In MDM ORS, records enter a pending state the active OS server begins running activities in its one step approval workflow process. When active OS server reaches the final review people activity, the server creates a task for the senior manager. In IDD, all senior managers reviews receive the task in their task inboxes. The task links to the updated customer entity. As I mentioned in this slide, there is a one step process there is another called as a two-step process. We'll see the details in upcoming sessions. What are the changes happen after senior manager approves a task? In IDD, the task is marked as a completed. The active OS server marks the final review people activity as a complete and runs the next activity in the one-step approval workflow process. In the MDM, that is on the other side, the operational reference store, that is ORS, approved the record enter as an active state. In the MDM hub, the approved record contributes to the base version of truth. 
MDM workflows and task types. So here is a list of the what are the MDM workflows and the task types. The predefined MDM workflow and the task types are deployed to the active user server as the processes and the people activities respectively. We can choose from the following workflow process. Update with approval workflow, one step approval workflow, two step approval workflow, merge workflow and unmerge workflow. These are the predefined MDM workflows. So we can use either of that. We are just seen one step approval process in our uh, earlier slide. I hope um, you are getting the basic knowledge about the active VOS and how it is related in the MDM hub. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.